Hello, one, two. My name's Richard Brains. Um, I'd like to say I'm from the Source Tones. I hope you get some gigs from that. <laughs> yeah, I'm here at Ronnie's uh, shop to talk about some of my gear. Um, I use a six string lap steel, like a Hawaiian style lap steel, tuned to an open tuning. Um, this one in particular is a 1937 um, Epiphone Electra. Um, I was lucky enough to get this quite cheap in Pretoria and uh, it's got the famous horseshoe pickup on it. This pickup was, uh, I think Rickenbacker had a go at um, Epiphone in 1938 and they had to stop making it. So I feel quite privileged I eventually found a, uh, a horseshoe pickup. Uh, I just use this normal steel bar. Um, this is called a tone bar. Uh, it's a Jerry Bird model made by Dunlop. It's got the round nose tip, um, so you can sort of move around the strings without any sort of catching and uh, clipping or that sort of thing. I've uh, used a uh, play a combination of blues and Hawaiian music, a few little country licks, a little bit of a little bit of western swing. While still learning that, but I'm getting there. Uh, and then on this end, I've got um, metal finger picks, and also made by Dunlop, and the Dunlop thumb pick. I'm using the new Altex thumb pick. It's quite strong and durable. It kind of lasts quite long and it comes off the strings really nicely. Uh, also I've got going here a just a standard open D tuning. So it's sort of a combination of 151 and the third, third note as well. So it makes a sort of chord. Uh, yeah and I plug into whatever amp I can. Usually a Fender sounds the best for lap steel players um, with reverb and that's what I like to use. Uh, I used to use a lot of pedals and that sort of thing in treatments but uh, it just hides away from the playing so yeah and, and then uh, I've got the hat, I've always got to wear the hat when I do the gigs as well. Um, Doc Martens and then I'm ready to roll. <laughs> yeah, I'll play a little bit for you here, maybe sort of show a combination of a little bit what I do. Mm -hmm. 